Welcome to This Week in Astronomy, brought to you by Celestron, the world's leading manufacturer of telescopes. I'm Dave Iker, editor of Astronomy Magazine, and this week we have a really good celestial event. People love meteor showers, getting out under a dark sky and seeing those flashes of light as pieces of dust come in and ionize, they burn up in Earth's atmosphere. These are caused either by asteroids or comets, the debris left over in the orbits of those objects. This one results from a comet called 1861 G1 Thatcher and it produces the so-called April Lyrid uh, meteor shower, particles from that comet. It peaks on the evenings of April 21st and 22nd. Unfortunately, this year we have a bit of a bright moon uh, on those nights, but you can see meteors uh, several days away from before and after the peak of the shower pretty well as well. The April Lyrids are often a good shower. They usually produce something between 5 and 20 meteors per hour. So you'll see some uh, bright meteors. Maybe the faint ones will be wiped out a little bit by the moonlight. But get away from city lights. Get to a good um, clear sky. All you need to do is look up. You don't need any optical aid for a meteor shower. The meteor shower is named after the constellation Lyra, which is the point from which the meteors appear to come. Meteor showers are always best after midnight as Earth's leading edge turns into the meteor storm. So get out there, stay up really late, try to avoid the moonlight as best you can, and you'll see some really nice lyrid meteors. Maybe take some pictures of them too. I'll see you next time.